Hi guys, hope you're all well. I've uh, been having a bit of trouble with my internet again. Um, so I don't know when this will get uploaded, but uh, hopefully it won't be long. Right, today I was laying in bed last night, as you do, thinking, hmm, while I've got all this nice translucent, maybe... Um, could come up with something a bit different so i'm going to do a bit of an experiment don't know if it's going to work i'll post it whether it works or not so you can kind of learn by my mistakes if that makes sense so i'm going to use a bit of discerning translucent and i am literally just going to use a little bit um i don't want to waste a load if it doesn't work I've got some white alcohol ink and I've got my confetti white perfect pearls uh, mica powder. Use any one you want. This one's um, got quite a good white tone to it, a bit silvery but um, I'm only going to use a little bit. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to, you know the, uh, there's quite a few people out there do it, they chop a coloured clay up and then put alcohol on, ink in and squitch it back together and you can get like a marbled effect or a four turquoise or um, quite a strong effect isn't it and I'm, I've tried it, I don't mind it with the turquoise but I think with other colours it's a bit harsh um, so I thought if I had a go with some translucent and a little bit of mica my idea for using the mica is it might stop me little bits sticking together too much um, you know because sometimes it goes clumpy and spoils the effect doesn't it and then just a little bit of alcohol ink and I just wondered what that might look like. So it'll be like translucent with white shiny veins in. So I thought, well, it might look nice. I don't think there's actually a stone out there that looks like that. Maybe a bit quartzy, I suppose. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Um, so I'll just um, get my bits together and we'll have a go at this. Okay guys, um, I've just got myself, I'm going to just use this cutter, um, I have conditioned this and I have leached it a little bit um, because if you remember that cernit is that fresh, it's like sticky toffee, um, so I'm just going to get my rigid blade. And I'm just going to start chopping this up so that it's quite angular. Some big bits and some little bits. I think that'll do. And let's just loosen them all up yeah I think this is where I'm going to put a little bit of mica on just so that it uh, isn't as sticky when I separate the pieces that should help it to uh, unclump if that makes sense I'm just gonna loosen these pieces up that I've chopped maybe tear some as well as have some angular so it'll look quite quartzy then 
I don't even know if this will turn out, guys. So uh, we'll see. We're in. We're in it together. Experimenting. I just. I've got a little poly bag at the side of me. Um, that I'm going to put some mica in and then shake it up and hopefully that'll stop them all mushing together too much yeah that's already helped on those pieces they're separating quite well because they're a bit dusty with mica Can hear a bit of a rumbling noise. One of the cats is on the roof, probably chasing flies or butterflies or something, as usual. Let's just get these split up. It's a bit fiddly, but to be honest, if your clay isn't as sticky uh, as mine. It'd probably be a lot easier. I'll just put a little bit more mica on the tops. I'm not using a great deal, just a, a little dust. sure there's no clumps stuck together in fact I probably won't bother putting it in the bag because it's uh, seems to be doing okay it's not sticking too much just a few little pieces that are sticking Mica seems to have worked. I'm just going to take a few of these to one side. I'm just going to chop them up a little bit finer. Um, So I've got some different sized pieces in there. Give them a roll around together. Separate any big clumps. There we go. Let's get that mica up. Just uh, clean up a little bit. And I'm not getting everything covered in mica. And I think I could do with a bit of bigger scrap. I'll use this. I've just got some grease proof paper here. So I'm just going to put my bits onto that and then I'm not getting alcohol ink everywhere. And I can clean this mica up then. There we go. Let's separate some of these clumps a little bit. 
and then I'm just going to add um, a couple of drops of white and I'm also going to add um, just a little spritz of just um, plain alcohol just to water that white down a bit because it's uh, that ranger one's quite pigmented If not a little sticky, I'm just going to spread them out a bit to dry. Away from that other alcohol. a little bit and they're not too clumped and they'll dry better then come on right guys I'm going to leave that to oh stuck just leave that to dry off uh, for 10 minutes just so all that alcohol's uh, evaporated off I'll go and clean my hands uh, and I'll be back uh, well I'll be back in a second to you see you in a minute okay guys this is dried off now um, I've just relabeled my bottle just in case you didn't know what I've used to spray um, it's just 90% alcohol um, what you get from the chemist or the drugstore. Um, I just use it with my alcohol inks. Right, so what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to gently oh, get it to come together. I'm just doing it on this paper then I don't make a mess of my worktop. just gonna form it into a loose rectangle just try and make sure there's no cracks in it and then I think I'll just use a couple of my, I don't want to put it through your pasta machine because it'll smush it all together. Um, so I'm thinking three might be a nice thickness. better if I tried could I? I'll just give it a roll the other way just to make sure it's nice and bonny. Right, what I'm going to do before I cut it, I'm going to get a bit of alcohol. Uh, let me find a clean wire. And I'm just going to spritz some alcohol on my cloth and wipe over to get the, that excess off the top. It might then save me having to sand too much off, if that makes sense. Yeah, you can, I don't know if you can make it out on the cloth, 
where it's taken that top layer off. Because as you know, I'm not a big fan of sanding. And if that removes most of the surface stuff, then I'll be really pleased. Just give it a nice burnish. So I've got a nice smooth surface. Got a little speck there, but I shan't worry about it. Make sure my cut is clean. I was wondering if I'd have enough left to make a little bead to go with it. Maybe I will. Um, I'll just use my block. Then I know I'm applying firm, even pressure. Take these scraps off. Get myself a bit of paper ready. going to end up sanding a little but I just want to make sure there's no big crumbs anywhere. Pop that on my paper. Make sure my shape's nice. It's not got distorted. It's got that little bump there. I'll just smooth it with my nail. There. Right, I'll pop that in the oven. Um, I'll probably make just quickly make a bead out of this. Uh, I'll not bother filming it. Um, I'll pop this in the oven and we'll see if it worked. <laughs> Fingers crossed, guys. Hi, guys. It worked. Now, I think it. Oh, the sun's coming through my window. It needs refining a little bit because it's not as chunky, which is possibly, um, I think next time, I, if I condense it in a block and then slice through the block, that would probably help, wouldn't it? But it was an experiment. But I mean, you, you can't really see the translucency. But it looks, let's try and get it to focus, it looks fab. Um, I think it, if I, I'm going to have another play um, and refine this a little bit um, and see what happens. But yeah. I did a couple of little beads with the scraps. I don't know if you can see, but they're really pretty too. This one especially, it's got a lot of grain in it. It's hard to see the translucency and I haven't got... Hmm. Oh, I know what I could use. I've got a little ring light. I'll just plug it in and see if I can show you the translucency through the ring light. I can't get it to reach. I'm gonna have to take it off. One sec, guys. There we go. I'm sorry about the bright light, but look at that. So 
not translucent. I mean, it's obviously it's not clear because um, I think the alcohol. And oh, and by the way, all I've done is dunk this in water, so I haven't even sanded it or anything. So it could come up a bit clearer, I suppose. Yeah, there's the back because I didn't wipe the back. I just wiped the excess off the front. Here's the beads. They're really lovely. So yeah, it kind of worked. I think I could take it a step further now. Um, I'm not 100% sure if the mica actually adds anything. Uh, it does look a bit sheeny, but I might um, try it without the mica and just water down the, um, the, the alcohol ink again and see if I can uh, get it looking more quartz-like. Um, but yeah, I'll upload this anyway so you can see what I've been playing with and I'll um, I'll have another play uh, this afternoon and refine it for you guys so that we've got a, a you know a bang on technique rather than me just experimenting. Okay guys, I shall see you in part two. Bye.